season 7 battle pass trailer and rank rewards trailers are out and in this video i'm going to show you all of the battle pass rewards and rank rewards detailed 360 view the battle pass trailer itself and the battle pass is looking interesting this time the battle pass is really good and it's above average we can say not one of the best but above average so i'm going to review this entire battle pass further in this video i'm going to show you each and every reward of this battle pass so don't skip any part of this video hit sub drop a like and share this video with your friends so this is an entire overview of battle pass starting from the left we are getting motoko blackjack striker and battery eve 3 as you know in the patch notes fifth battle pass blueprint was not revealed but now it's revealed we are getting m16 assault rifle blueprint and i am completely disappointed with this decision rest of the blueprints are of kilo arctic shorty and switchblade you are also getting default version of switchblade and claw all right enough talking now let's move on to the main part of this video so starting from the character skins the first is motoko the default version of motoko new female character under collaboration this character is super badass guys you can say that she's tough competitor of mantare and urban tracker both of them were the most popular female characters in cod mobile but finally now we got another female character with perfect looks and outfit this character is an absolute 10 out of 10 character her outfit is really amazing the designing shiny texture on her outfit is giving a beautiful look to her and her tactical gloves is giving her a combat look not going to lie the characters of this battle pass are really good here is the lobby view of this character up next we have military themed character striker interference Cotton Greenfield also known as Striker is an operator of NATO faction in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. He is playable character in Zombies mode and multiplayer mode of Black Ops Cold War and yes he is also available in Call of Duty Warzone. And finally we are getting chance to unlock this character in Call of Duty Mobile as well by purchasing Battle Pass. He is the second character of this Battle Pass. This character is inspired from military theme completely and I am not getting any futuristic vibe from him. Well I personally like the character because I am a fan of military themed characters. Did you like this? character do let me know i'm rating this character 4 out of 5 up next we have brand new character blackjack elite i don't know why but i'm getting similar vibes of cryptic character from this maybe due to his outfit or headgear the high collar leather coat is completely suiting him this character's outfit is marvelous the color combination is also phenomenal white and black this is new character in call of duty and so far all of the characters of the battle pass are looking really promising and amazing after motoko this is the second character that i liked in this entire battle pass and I'm rating this character 5 out of 5 as well. Do you like futuristic character more or military theme character more? Do let me know in the comments down below. And we have the last female character of this battle pass, Battery Eve 3. I don't have this variant of battery character in my loadout, so it's a win situation for me. But I posted battle pass characters community post like one or two days ago, and most of the people didn't like this character. According to them, the face work of this character is completely horrible and not suiting her. Well, I respect to your opinion and I I agree to you all but to be honest this character is not that bad actually. I mean the bodywork of this complete character skin is looking so amazing and detailed. If you don't have this variant of battery in your loadouts, definitely you should go for it. And you know liking is a subjective matter. Some people would like this character, some people would not like this character. So personally I like this character and I'll give her 4 out of 5. Now it's time for battle pass weapon blueprint detail view. The first weapon is Kilo 141 K484 and perfect weapon selection though Kilo 141 is a very versatile gun and this weapon blueprint is also looking much Marvelous, complete futuristic touch. I love this skin, the color combination is also good, neon blue and white. Sadly no custom iron sight to this weapon blueprint but some slight adjustments were made. You will be able to notice blue color while using the iron sight of this weapon blueprint. And guys the next weapon blueprint will blow your mind. The next weapon blueprint is of Arctic 50 Midnight Beast and you can see it's completely a beast weapon blueprint. 100% you are getting trade worthy weapon blueprint in battle pass. Look at the beauty guys. I love the weapon blueprint. The 3D modeling of this blueprint is to the point. You can see raised beast on this weapon blueprint color combination is also amazing neon pink on purple tint the scope and the mag has designing as well so you'll get really amazing feeling while reloading this weapon again another amazing weapon blueprint rating this 5 out of 5 next we have shorty golden hornet Personally, I'm not a fan of Shorty, but they completely changed the look of this weapon. This is looking completely different. This weapon blueprint is inspired from energy theme. You can see battery on the stock part of this weapon. 
feels like it's getting charged and it has custom iron sight as well. The skin work on the barrel part was done with perfection. This skin is looking absolute beauty. But I think weapon selection was not that great. They could have selected another shotgun. Well, it depends on different players and their playstyle. Do you use shorty or not in multiplayer ranked matches? Do let me know in the comments. Tier 50 skin of this battle pass is Switchblade K3 Kyoto Steel. Brand new SMG with amazing fire rate and recoil control. But the battle pass blueprint is pretty average. I mean no creative changes on the weapon model, just simple reskin version of the default Switchblade. But still you can see star type thingy at front and stock part of this weapon which is giving it an amazing look. Not complaining much to the developers related to this skin because overall the battle pass is amazing and you should definitely go for it. And the last weapon blueprint of this battle pass left to mention is m16 born to win i think skin is completely beautiful but the weapon selection is not good m16 is the weapon which barely anyone use developers gave their 100 percent to beautify this weapon skin but this weapon has no use now some of you guys will say m13 is a useful weapon but in three years of me playing call of duty mobile i have seen less than five players using this weapon to be honest but if you're a competitive player and master of all guns that's an another thing and one thing you didn't notice is that if you buy battle pass subscription you will get amazing gks gilded knight skin and have a look at that blueprint as well for the first time if you buy premium plus battle pass subscription you will get exclusive skin of gks gilded knights and this skin is looking beautiful i wish cod mobile devs replaced that m13 skin with this gks skin because this skin is looking beautiful the color combination is giving it a royal touch it has no custom iron sight but i think you should not complain about it because gks iron sight is already clean and it's really easy to use here is the detailed and 360 view of this weapon blueprint and do let me know in the comments which is your most favorite weapon blueprint in this battle pass now it's time for the battle pass emote oh my god bro. oh hell no man what the fuck man <laughs> Alright guys, enough for this battle pass explanation and review, now it's time for rank rewards. This is the rank reward trailer and further in this video I'll leave rank rewards detailed view as well, watch that completely. First I'll show you the battle pass rank rewards, this is Merc, Combat Rig, Pinku 2, what the heck. See guys, Merc Battle Rig is a badass character, he's prepared for battles, but this time developers I think ruined the vibe of Merc Battle Rig, but still there are some players who like anime themed characters and colorful clothes characters, so yeah, they might find this character skin beautiful. Up next we have series 4 frame of battle royale mode. Much more rewards coming further in this video, enjoy the video guys. Now it's time for multiplayer rank rewards. This is Odd and Neko Neko, probably one of the best rank reward weapon skin, I guess. This weapon blueprint is highly customized. I mean, look at it. All of the anime fans out there are going to hard grind this season. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. Have a look at the other rewards, and I'll see you at the last part of this video. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed, drop a like, do subscribe and share this video with your more friends. See you in the next video, till then take care, peace.